All right, so let's continue with this texturing process. Most of this turntable fortunately has the same material as the base of it, so we're gonna just pretty much apply that to most of these pieces. So the next thing we'll do is apply it to this one, just kind of randomly choosing that, no real reason. So we'll select this piece here, go to the materials panel, and then of course we can select the base material there. And there it is. Do the same thing for these button pieces. We'll just select the materials and apply them. Another thing you can do to kind of expedite this process is to just link the materials together. So if you have any pieces that share the same material, you can essentially just link the materials and do this process all in one go. So for example, this little knob is gonna have the same material, this piece here, this corner piece, and then if I just hold shift and select another object with the same material, maybe this one, and then press Control L on the keyboard. Turn on my screencast key so you can see. Control L, you can just click on materials, and as easy as that, it'll just link all the materials, and as you can see, it just kind of made the process a little bit quicker. So for the back corner piece, it looks like most of the areas share the same material, except for the handle of this rod, this little middle piece on the measuring instrument, and some of the screws kind of like right here. Some of the screws have a little bit of a different material going on, more of a silver material. So let's just start with the original base material first and apply those, then we can go and add on different materials like for the silver and whatnot. So we'll just start with this piece here, we'll select it, then just start holding shift and selecting the other pieces that share the same material. Go to this one, this one, you might need to just kind of start applying some of these as you go to see which areas you've already selected. We'll apply it to these little pieces here. This one, so press Control L and then we'll first select this base mesh and then press Control L. We'll link the materials. So we've got most of that going so far. We'll select this area here, this piece, uh, these little holding pieces in here. Careful not to select the screws because those have a different material, more of a silver one. We'll do it for this piece and then link it to that base material. Almost done. Looking pretty good so far. It looks like this little tube here has more of a rubber looking material, not so much this little noisy texture going on. So we'll leave this one for now, then make it its own material. I think we've got everything then. Maybe just the top piece of this needs that material, so I'll just select it from the drop down, select the base, and then once we apply our silver material, we can fix the base of this rod. Just don't worry about it for now. All right, so to create a silver material in Blender is one of the easiest things to do. If you just go to Google, and search for silver color, make sure you put color after it, very important. You'll actually get this little thing over here that has a hex triplet, and this is the code we're going to use to get the actual color of silver. Now to get all of the metallic properties we have to do in the printable shader, but just for the pure silver color, you can do this in Google, you can just look it up very easily. You can even do the same thing for any other metal, like gold for example, you'll have other hex triplets you can use. But for now, we're going to stick with silver. We're going to copy and paste this hex triplet right here. If you can't find it over here for some reason, just go to the Wikipedia page. It'll be listed over here on the right. So then we'll go back into Blender. We'll add a new material by clicking the plus symbol. Click new and then call it silver. And then what we can do is go to the base color slot here. And then, and then under the hex menu here, we just copy and paste that hex triplet. And then that's going to give us a pure silver color. So now if we go to the screw, for example, and apply the silver material from the drop down menu, you'll see the only thing that really changed was the color. We need to make sure we get the actual properties of a metal in here as well. And to do that, we just go to the metal slider, the metallic slider, drag it up to one to get it an actual metallic type of material. Uh, everything else we should be able to just leave as it is. You can adjust the roughness if you'd like. I think 0.5 is always a good default value though. So there we go, that's a pure silver material, super easy to add in. 
we're just going to do the same thing to these other screws drop on that silver material we'll also go over here to these screws and apply that silver material some people might say that you should also adjust things like the index of refraction uh, I would argue that the difference is so tiny it doesn't really matter I don't waste my time changing all the specific values the only thing you really need to change is the base color and the metallic slider and if you want the roughness but uh, yeah I'm not gonna mess with anything else I don't think it's necessary so we'll apply the silver material to all those we'll do it to this little middle piece here Put the silver material on that and we're almost done with the material part of this turntable and just to get this connector piece here, we can just do a very basic material setup, nothing complicated. So select this piece, I'll just call it connector. And then here we're just going to give it a little bit of a black color, so drag this down on base color. We'll also adjust the sheen a little bit, maybe just give it a little bit of sheen on the top there. I don't really think we need to add too much else, I think that looks pretty close to what we have in the reference photo maybe a little bit of a darker black color just all the way down and yeah I don't think it looks too bad alright so in the next video we're going to make a material for this plate here I want to do its own video though because adding this texture around the side is going to take a little bit more time and I don't want to have a super long lecture so I'll see you in the next one